In this problem, we have an equation with two absolute values. So whenever you have two absolute values, what you do is you drop the absolute values and you put a plus and you put a minus. So let's go ahead and do it. So we'll drop the absolute value. So we have 4w plus 3 equals 2w minus 5. That's our first equation. That's the plus, right? There's, there's no minus sign here. We just left it alone. And the other equation is 4w plus 3 equals minus, and then parentheses, 2w minus 5. The reason you do this is really interesting. Let me explain it up here. If you have the absolute value of A equal to the absolute value of B, we're saying that A and B are two numbers whose distance from 0 is the same. That means that A and B are the same, or A and B are opposites. So A is equal to B, or A is equal to the opposite of B. And that's exactly what happened here. A is equal to B, or A is equal to the opposite of B. So I just memorize it. Whenever I have two absolute values, I do a plus and a minus. Okay, let's solve each of these individually. So here we want to get all of the W's on one side by themselves. So we'll start by subtracting 2W. So minus 2W, minus 2W. These cancel. 4W minus 2W is 2W. We still have the plus 3, and this is equal to minus 5. Now we can subtract 3 from both sides. So we have 2w equals minus 8. Almost there. Our w is being multiplied by 2. So what we can do now is just simply divide by 2. Divide by 2. And so we have w equals negative 4. So that would be the first answer to our absolute value equation. Over here on the right, it's very similar. But we first have to distribute this negative 1. So it's 4w plus 3, and that's equal to, let's see, negative 1 times 2w is negative 2w, and then negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. And again, our goal is to get all of the w's on one side by themselves. So we'll start by adding 2w to both sides, so plus 2w, plus 2w. These cancel, so we have 6w plus 3 equals 5. Then we'll subtract 3 from both sides, so minus 3, minus 3. So 6w is equal to 2. And as before, it's being multiplied by a number. So to get rid of it, we'll just divide. So dividing by 6, we end up with w equals 2 over 6, which is the same thing as 1 over 3. So a little bit longer than some of the other absolute value equations. I hope this video has been helpful.